Okay, it's uh, it's now evening. Uh, this thing's been cleaned up quite a bit. We've uh, dusted it off. Got most of the sticky stuff that was on that off. Uh, the light, it's wired up. It does work. I've already tested it because I needed to uh, make sure that it was tuned in because I didn't want to do that live in case it all went wrong. We've uh, cleaned up all the boxes, cleaned the cartridges. Uh, I'll tell you what we do. Clean them physically and use a face cleaner like that and uh, some cotton buds to wet and dry the cartridges themselves so that's all nice and clean now. So we'll switch her on and uh, have a look at what she can do. Working fine, as usual. Uh, right, this is Pong. Hello. Uh, it's an unusual Pong because you can move your bats forwards like that. And uh, it's got a good sound effect. It's uh, quite different from the Atari Pong I'm used to. I'm uh, unusually for my videos, I'm uh, recording this on widescreen. Well, it's on Italian widescreen anyway. The reason for that? Because I can and I want to play Pong in uh, widescreen. Uh, I'm in control of both bats, so this should prove to be interesting. Now I'm not going to play the basic prong, I'm going to play the more interesting number 5, which allows you to change the direction of the ball in mid-flight and the speed. It's going to be difficult because I've got both controllers. So uh, let's press start and see what we can do. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Okay, right. Trying to play Pong behind when you've got both bats. Behind a camera is quite challenging. Especially as I'm not used to playing with the games left handed. Okay, this goes up to 15. Now I can't do it now because of my limited maneuverability in my hands. But you can press a button which will allow you change the ball mid-flight. I love the special effects on this. My wife, me and wife did play it uh, quickly earlier together. Hopefully we'll play it later together, but she's still in the bath, so we uh, wants to get this video out. So, uh, that's the basic pong. Uh, just go through. So that you get pong doubles. Different levels. Uh, the old yeah. Hockey. Doubles hockey. And uh, that's uh, volleyball. Volleyball is it? Yeah. Volleyball. Oh no, table tennis. Uh, that's the the volleyball I think. Basketball, which is quite fun. We played that earlier. Uh, don't have too much time to spend uh, going through each game on this. There's some interesting games. Right, here's an interesting game. Breakout. With the difference. Let's have a look. Right, I can play this a bit better now. Well, maybe not. Right. So it's breakouts on the side. And you can have it where it's different speeds. This is a slow version, and you can have a fast version. So, we all know about breakouts, so let's have another look at what we got here. Hmm, so let's just quick look at this version. Oh, this is the way it travels through and you gather points that way. Okay, no problem. Same there. The doubles version. So, come here. Let's have a quick look at that now. That's different. Let's have a look at some more. This one is similar to the other one. We are shooting through them. It's Pong with a bit of breakout in the middle. Okay. Uh, back to 
clean one. Okay, so that's a limited because it's, uh, it's quite different, it's quite fun. And uh, I didn't even press uh, load program to get that up. Just on this system, you are supposed to press uh, the load program button twice to get a cartridge to load. That doesn't seem to have happened to me today on this. Right, this is Super Maze. I quite like this one. Basically, you're going to get on this basic level, you've just got to get from the left hand to the right hand side of the maze. And it's quite simple and quite addictive. So let's go. There we go. As quick as you can. Let's go. And that's a simple uh, part of that. There's a timer at the bottom. Weirdest timer ever. Let's just go and that's that. Is, oh, on the right is the game variation, and on the left is how many you play. Play one or play ten of these, then play two plays ten of these, and you get your scores at the bottom, and you win like that. So you've got a uh, two-player version, I think. Just let me check this. I've gone through that, so my mother. Okay, right. Two-player version here. Yep, two play. I'll just take one stick because this is hard enough. So you run through the maze. A bit faster than the other one. This will be a high speed one. Oof. Right, I've not got my hands fully on the controller, so this makes it quite difficult. Right, come on. Notice how good the picture's on this as well. Seeing this is at the time of filming, 31 years old. Ah, it's against the clock. I'll read something. It's against the clock. So, time ran out on that one. Right. Got grid ones where. I don't mean it appears as you go through it. You get the idea there. We've got a rush because we've only got, got limited time to get through all these. Uh, these ones where the maze doesn't appear at all until you've gone through it. Which. I haven't actually had a go at this yet. The, uh, oh, the time is a bit slower on this one. So that's that one. Alright. Two player. It's like a fast version. Now this is interesting. I'll show you this one. Because as you go through it, it changes. It changes the labyrinth at random. They get very interesting to try and get around. Quite well. Sometimes you just sit there waiting. Ah, there we go. See if you can find it. Oh, there we go. Obviously, there's a two player version of that. Uh, two players version. And then you've got. That changes the labyrinth itself. It doesn't completely change the labyrinth. That does. I haven't played this one before. Right. But it's, as you can see, it's continuously changing. Only a few fixed areas. I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. Ah, so the reds uh, move and the grey sits still. Okay, that's fine. Come on, move out of my way. Move. Move. Thank you. Oh, that's time. So there we go. And two play version. Must be high speed. Two play high speed. Cat and mouse. I haven't won this many, many times so far. Seven, eight, six, six, seven. Three, this one. Okay. Uh, let's just start. Basically, the white one is the computer, which is the mouse, and you've got to keep away from it and get it to your goal. The only problem is it sits in the areas where you want to go, and it's hard to. Ah. There we go. That's the usual result of playing that. Right. And two player version, must be high speed, two player high speed. I'm back to number one. Now, there is another game of I'm not going to cover it. I might have a quick look at it in another video. But it's called uh, SBSC Attack. Uh, it's not very interesting. It's basically fl uh, helicopters flying over, gunships flying over, and dropping bombs on the submarines. It's a generic sort of thing. It's, it's, I've had a play of it, but it's, it's not much. So. There you go, that's the uh, Ace Tronic MPU 1000, working fine, 
31 years old at the time of filming and uh, it's good, I like the controllers I know some people don't, but I do like these analog sticks the self-centering thing doesn't bother itself to me, they're very sensitive and uh, I like them it's good, yes, good fun that glad I bought that thank you to Mario Sonic who uh, gave me the idea for this, thank you